Okay, so we're en route to the Channel Tunnel and I thought we'd just come here and have a look at um, a famous grave, or I should say a forgotten grave really. It's a gravestone of Tom Price, who was a Formula One driver and he was killed in the South African Grand Prix in 1977. So that's Tim there, standing by the grave. And this is it. And there's a Spitfire. Oh, we... Oh my gosh! Oh my god. There... Ah, oh, damn, it's gone. There was a Spitfire. So there we are. Age 27. Was it did it, killed in the South African Grand Prix? Oh, I can't quite read it. 5th of March, I think it is. 1977. And there. Ah, so this is a place called Otford. St. Bart's. Just wanted to pay my respects. A Welsh Formula One, I think the only Welsh Formula One driver. Anyway, there he is. Yeah, it's going to be slightly awkward now because I want to talk to the camera. But, uh, we just get on the right road first. Ah, GS's again. Left here. Left. Right. We don't want toll. Nice little timber yard there. Ah. Oh. Oh, I smell the wood. So here we are. Look at those windmills. Right, anyway. So here we are, we've just come over the border from Belgium into Germany and we're actually heading for the Nürburgring now taking a bit of the, a bit of a scenic route I'm a little bit sorry we didn't have the camera on earlier because some of the countryside we've been riding through has been absolutely epic A little bit like this, but more foresty, forestry uh, areas. Tractor. As you can see, Tim is on the, the front door here. The old Pathfinder. Oh, and this is a, a very steep hill. 8%. So we just had a nice little cup of coffee um, and a cake. I'll put a photo on now. All very good. In fact, everything is perfect in the world. I have to say, some of the houses around here are, well, I don't know. How did we get it so wrong in the UK? 
we haven't come across one big housing estate that we have in uh, UK, not one. All the houses are individual. So we did uh, we did call in at Spa, Spa Franco Champs, for uh, a couple of photographs, but we, we couldn't get in. There was security on at the circuit and they had some Porsche, they might have been Porsche Super Cup cars going round or something. So, we're actually following uh, a route that was given to Tim by the people who own the hotel where we're staying. So it's not exactly a direct route, which is good. Just look at these roads. Ah, Germany. This is good. Apart from the car up in there, yeah. yeah Mussolini's Revenge. <laughs> I hope you know we're really enjoying oh shit right here we are enjoying these roads just awesome apart from the fact we're stuck behind a car Look at the view over there. Oh. There we are. Oh, just lovely. What a great area to come on holiday. Almost made for bikes. I'd catch up in a minute. So these roads are just absolutely unbelievable. And undulating, twisty, scenic. And the corner sat nav, we're now 10 miles away from Nürburgring. Just look at it. Loving this one. Quite lucky so far, the weather's holding. Some big black clouds up there, but uh, so far so good. Oh, what's that? Police. Jesus. Oh, it's a Google Maps car, isn't it? Or similar. And people go on about the Black Forest area of uh, Germany, but I don't know, to me, to me this is better. This certainly is good. Yeah. 
typical, I've got a car right up my well behind me. Okay, I got right turn, but Nürburgring to the right, it said that. Ten kilometers to the right. A windier way. Horses, church. God, epic. Yeah. That's, um, that could be Sterling Moss. sat nav we're four and a quarter four and a half miles sorry from the Nürburgring I have no idea what this town is called but everything is epic <laughs> ah. bird right. it's actually quite a big town isn't it Here we are, at the Nürburgring. Nürburgring. Oh, there's the castle, yeah, that's the one. No. No, we're coming up to, uh, yeah, we're coming in the wrong side to what I normally come into. That's the big fancy castle you see on the uh, Formula One coverage when it comes to Germany. Yeah. And there's the old grandstand and everything right in front of you. I'm just trying to see. Pension. My God, I can't remember where it is. I'm sure I got Alzheimer's, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do um, uh, a U-turn, come back down this way. Right, now, on the left is where we walked up to watch the race. Yeah, but don't go up there. We walked up in there because we could get in. There's a castle in front of us. I'm just trying to think where our hotel is. It was like Sport. I think it was down. Oh no, it's there. Motorsport Hotel there. Yeah, stop on the right. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that's where we used to stay. With, um, with that company I used to work with. <laughs> okay, it's goodbye to the Nürburgring. Very nice, now we're in search of a cafe. Well, we'll have a cafe a bit later on, I suspect. Yeah. 
these roads are so smooth, aren't they? Here we are, look, minding our own business. Riding along here and um, there's a big Tesla factory. Just up there. And now I can't see it. Isn't that typical? There was a big sign on there that said Tesla. Ah, oh, there we are, look. Tesla. Not sure if they put cars together there or batteries or something, I'm not sure. Just look at the views here. Ah, uh, look at that. at all is it? This is Baton Rouge in Vielsam, Belgium. That's where we're staying. Just look at that. And that's the bar down there. I can think of worse places, 